2003, I got a phone call from Steve Jobs. Out of the blue, I'd just become head of the Aspen Institute. He knew me from my days at Time Magazine. And he said he wanted to have a talk with me. I said, fine. We took a walk, and he said, why don't you do a biography of me? I had just done Ben Franklin, was working on Albert Einstein. And at first, I thought, you know, wow, he thinks he's, you know, uh, Franklin, Einstein, he's next in the sequence. And I said, you could be around another 20, 30 years. Um, why don't we wait until you retire? And then over the years, he talked to me a couple more times. And finally, I realized that, you know, he was sick and worried about how long he had. And uh, I said, sure, I'd do this book because Steve Jobs represents the intersection of creativity and technology. And that's what I'd been writing about in Franklin and Einstein and everybody else. Steve Jobs always is able to be very persuasive, and the people at Apple used to call it his reality distortion field. He'd say, we have to finish this project by the end of next month. And they'd all say, no way. And he'd say, yes, it can be done. And lo and behold, they would do it. Uh, he was pretty good in working with me on this book, because he said, I'm not going to have any control. It's going to be your book. From the very first day we spoke, until just recently, when we were finishing up uh, our interviews, he said, just remember, it's your book. I'm not even going to read it before it comes out. When I started writing this book, I told him, I'm going to have to speak to not only your friends and colleagues, but also enemies and people you fired and former girlfriends. And at first, I don't think he was all that comfortable with it, but as I started doing my interviews, I soon had interviewed more than 100 people he had dealt with. Now it's probably close to 200. And it's interesting. You get a well-rounded picture, and, uh, you know, he's a complicated guy. It's a little bit like that Rashomon effect. So many people tell you so many different things and you try to shape the picture from that.